Good morning, YouTube. It's 10 a.m. in the great state of Texas, and if you can't tell by my voice, <coughs> excuse me, I am a little bit under the weather. So I am trying to recover from the common cold, and I can just can't shake it. But we're going to get through this, and we're going to get this video commentary done for you guys. So uh, here I am trying to use my miter saw, but it's super important to actually uh, plug it in because electricity is important. So uh, already off to a rough start on this project. So I actually had this project left over from last year. So if you guys have watched my channel for any amount of time, you guys know that I've done like popsicle stick bowls in the past. So I went ahead and ordered a thousand, thousand, thousand popsicle sticks on Amazon. And all we're gonna do is do this epic glue up using all of these popsicle sticks, or at least the majority of them. I uh, went a little overboard and ordered way more than I needed. So I ended up having a lot left over. So uh, just FYI, in the future, you guys are gonna see another popsicle stick project. But I didn't, uh, didn't use them all. Uh, just wanted to make a cool popsicle stick bowl. Sometimes I just like making projects over and over again. Just like I always say on some of the things I do on the channel, it's like I like to make stuff because I like to make it. And popsicle stick bowls are pretty fun. They're fun to do the glue up. They're fun to uh, turn on the lathe. But essentially, if you've seen one popsicle stick bowl, you've kind of seen them all. But this one's going to be a little bit different and unique because what we're going to do is make a lid on this one. And I didn't initially intend to make a lid for this project, but uh, I ended up gluing up two sandwiches like this. And this is this is probably one of my favorite parts right here. It's just watching all this glue kind of seep out. You put it in the vise and then get all these cool colors just bleeding through, which looks really, really cool. And if I could work on my camera work, there you go. You can see it now a little bit better. But this is probably one of my favorite parts of this. So literally months later got this out of the vise and now we're going to take this over to the table saw and you can see there the sandwich bread is coming out a little bit further than the popsicle sticks so gotta go ahead and cut that down and then for some reason i decided you know what let's do another glue up this is actually uh something different it's it's a different portion of the bowl so you guys aren't watching the same footage over and over again we're just doing another glue up and if you saw there earlier you can see what the uh, glue looked like uh, when it's left out in the Texas Sun a little bit uh, like I said I did this project started it in like I think September or October like it was late last year and I just never got around to it I got working on other projects and this was just literally laying in the background and I was like man I gotta get this done Probably because this is a little bit of a more intricate project. Look at that glue up. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, man. I love that part. But, no, I had this, like, laying around. It was already glued up. I just never got around to turning it onto the lathe and then just finally decided, hey, we got to get all the 2023 projects done. And that's what motivated me to get this done uh, later in the year. But taking it over to the table saw, cutting down that sandwich bread, um... So we can have like at least a good square before we put it on the lathe. And then literally this was like months later. So like when you saw me using the table saw and notice how it was in shorts and a short sleeve t-shirt. That was like done in like October. And then like this over here on the miter saw, I literally did this like I think the last week of December. But anyway, it's not important. We're finally getting around to it. So getting everything squared up. You can see we're a little bit off there, but uh, we're going to get this turned down on the lathe, and we're going to have problems, so here I am putting it on to the lathe, and, okay, never mind, different video, <laughs> sorry, so I've got all my videos kind of mixed up, plus, actually, fun fact, I'm doing this commentary at like 8.30 in the morning, the day this video kind of comes out, so I've just been under the weather and not been able to... Uh, do my regular commentary so we're gonna keep the street going though so again I apologize for uh, my voice in this video but uh, got it onto the lathe and now we're just turning it down into a nice square or nice cylinder obviously uh, I don't know where I am right now but uh, this part went relatively smooth not a whole lot of issues here like I said turning popsicle sticks is really easy I'm pretty sure they just use balsa or like pine wood when they do these popsicle sticks they're just like leftover wood 
but not a whole lot of issues here uh, but trust me there's gonna be some issues a little bit later because man you can't can't start any project without having some kind of some kind of problem but this part went relatively well but here we go first problem you can see here I slowed the video down it's already wobbling off of the faceplate here the screws are in the wood but they're not attached all the way so everything is in a nice cylinder now I have to make the mortise and I'm really taking my delicate delicate time with this because what I was afraid of was this thing flying off of the lathe but uh, I took my time here really just was methodical about it and just made sure just to take small gentle strokes and then stop and starting the lathe to get the chuck sized up but surprisingly that went relatively smooth and that just goes back to you know doing this for over five years now I've become a little bit better about getting everything uh, done uh, slowly and methodically because I used to rush a lot of stuff and then I used to have a lot of problems so if you're curious or wondering what's going on with this vice grip in the background so if you guys watched my previous I think it was the previous video my latch came undone on the back and I had put some steel stick on there however the steel stick came off and what's on there now is 15 minute epoxy with a vice grip trying to keep this lathe going for as long as humanly possible so that's what that was because sometimes you just gotta improvise a little bit so I took some 15 minute epoxy and tried to reattach that latch where it locks and unlocks the lathe and it worked a little bit but I had to wait for it to set up and I needed to get this video done so I had to work around it so just like everything else I always say on this channel work the problem even though you're gonna have issues work the problem so if you can tell we did successfully get this done and the latch is still attached so that's a good thing so you're gonna see that for the duration of the video but uh, here all we're doing is gouging out the bowl and this part went relatively easy like I said popsicle sticks are really fun to work with because they're really soft wood and the chisels ate right through it so not a whole lot of problems here and all we're doing is sizing down uh, how big we want this bowl to be and it's not a very large bowl uh, but it's it's still pretty cool so then we just sanded I think we went from uh, 50 grit all the way up to I want to say 220 uh, but didn't spend a whole lot of sand time sanding but uh, I think that's all we did so now we're gonna try to form the actual lid portion of the bowl and this part went relatively easy the biggest pain in the ass was trying to work around this grip that's uh, on the back end of the lathe there so like I was saying earlier there's a latch on the back of the lathe that locks and unlocks the lathe so I used steel stick previously and had been successful with that but I guess it doesn't attach as well so 15 minute epoxy if you put epoxy or anything on any mechanical issue it will adhese eventually I don't recommend that I'm not a professional fix the problem the way it does this is just how I decided to fix my problem so <laughs> excuse me uh, to keep my lathe going and the lathe is still working so uh, no worries there you just gotta work the problem but I'm just kind of rambling now so this part went relatively easy as well once we got on onto the lathe uh, now we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna make the actual lid portion of this uh, and I had a couple of ideas on how to do this and this probably wasn't the best way to do it but in my brain for the time I was like okay this will work so we just made a mortise flipped it over uh, and now we're gonna start sizing this the way we want to and it's not so much as it as it it's not so much a lid as much as it is a double bowl basically it's like one of those uh, nesting dolls that lays on top of each other but uh, I think the next project we're definitely gonna do more of a lid but this is kind of like generation one because I know I don't do lids on a majority of my projects but uh, I think that's something that I need to start doing just to kind of up my woodworking game a little bit but you can see here all I'm doing is trying to size this up uh, trying to get to a nice attachment point and then we're just gonna work off some of the sides and I'm just trying to round out the bottom of it where this is gonna adhese or not adhese but attach to and just keep working down uh, the bowl a little bit but I love these colorful shavings that's another reason why I like working 
with uh, popsicle sticks because it's just so fun to look at. But once I got everything kind of sized the way that I wanted to, now I can actually start the actual gouging portion of it. And like I said, it's not so much a lid as much as it is just two bowls laying on top of each other, but you still get a cool effect. You still get a cool aesthetic from it. Uh, and that part didn't take uh, any time at all. So once I did that, I gouged it out, flipped it around, and now I'm just finishing up the top layer. This is actually the top of the bowl here. And just trying to work down that material to get it nice and flat so where it's not so bulky on top. Because uh, that junk pine board on top kind of takes away from it a little bit. And then just went back and sanded it 50 all the way up to 220. And this is what it looks like uh, once it's all attached. You can see there the lid is a perfect fit. And then there's all those cool fruity pebble shavings. And now we gotta clean that up and then we're gonna polish it and then we'll be done. And the vice grip is still going. So hit it up with some Yorkshire grit uh, polish. I really like this stuff. Uh, do recommend, it took me like five years to literally start using it, I don't know why. Uh, but it's a pretty good polish and really like how it uh, helps out the wood grain. But and then we came back, hit it with some shell wax, get a nice shine to it. But like I said, uh, problems on this project, but everything ended up going pretty smooth. Just got to work the problem. The lathe still going strong. And then we got this polished down real nice and neat. Like I said, this is the first project of 2024, but it looks really good. Like I said, had this left over from last year, but really happy how it turned out. Looks really cool. Inside of it looks really cool. And we're going to start doing more lids on the project. So hope everybody so far is having a good 2024. I will eventually get over this cold and won't sound like this uh, for the rest of the year. But sometimes things don't go our way and you just got to work the problem. Like I say, work the problem. But hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Peace. Alright, so project is done, and this little guy turned out really, really good. So I'm sorry for the lighting, because uh, I ordered a ring light on Amazon. And just like Amazon, uh, read the description, or like the pictures really make shit seem way different. So I got this little tiny ring light, thinking I was going to get a replacement for the one that I'm currently using. So I'll have to order another one, so sorry about that. Uh, but man, this came out really, really cool. Uh, kind of didn't turn out exactly how I envisioned, but wow, did it hold up together. We had so many problems with this one. A uh, little latch on the back of my lathe, completely fucking fell apart. But overall, really cool popsicle bowl. So instead of just making two bowls, which I kind of did, so I guess you could put it like that if you wanted to, but bam, just lift it like that. That looks really, really cool too. But uh, today is actually January 30th. You guys are watching this for sure in 2024. Probably the first or second week of the month or of the year, but uh, really gonna start doing some better projects, practicing the whole lids thing. This literally took like five hours to to complete between all the problems that we had. But overall, really happy how it turned out. Uh, there will, there sh in theory, should be a project coming out for the first of January, which you guys have already seen because you guys are watching this in the future. But overall, really happy how this turned out. But anyway, uh, gonna start doing some better projects. All right, see you guys in the next one. Peace.